yield two minutes to the distinguished gentleman from Michigan, uh, my good friend, Mr. Wahlberg. The gentleman is recognized. I thank the, the chair. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 1615 and in support of our gas stoves. Across southern Michigan, people are bewildered, including chefs in my district, and most importantly, my wife, by the attacks on gas stoves, and many can't wrap their heads around it. Here's the deal. A climate group with deep ties to the CCP published a questionable study on gas stoves. President Biden's climate czar and energy secretary have met with this group, and despite the group's deep ties to the CCP, American taxpayer dollars continue to be funneled to them. Shortly after publication of the study, a Consumer Product Safety Commission member said a gas stove ban was, quote, on the table. But let's be clear, the House is not going to stand by while the administration continues to restrict the freedoms of Americans, undermine energy security, and might make life even more costly for families. About 40 percent of Americans are utilizing gas stoves, and we're not going to restrict our own freedom because a group connected to the CCP would like us to. Natural gas is safe, it's reliable, it's affordable for millions of Americans. Natural gas makes America strong, resilient, and provides stability, and has been the key factor in cleaning up our environment, unlike other nations. I urge my colleagues to vote yes to support our freedom, energy security, and a prosperous future. And I yield back. The gentleman from Florida reserves. The gentleman from